Okay, so here's the deal. We've done quite a few laser engraving projects on this channel using the mainstay materials, and that's things like wood, plywood, acrylic, and less often used materials, leather, stone, ceramic tile, even paper, and generated some really nice output with our CO2 lasers. But one material I haven't spent too much time on yet is glass. And if you wanna really find out how easy it is to engrave on glass, then let's get going, stick around. So how's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to my workshop. And this time we're engraving on glass and not just any glass, we're gonna engrave on a mirror. And what I wanna do is show you how easy it is to get spectacular results with a very simple process. And I'll walk you through the entire thing end to end from design, layout on the, on the laser software, uh, do the engraving and get those settings correct, uh, final cleanup so that we don't have shards of glass laying around. And, uh, you know, you'll un hopefully by the end of this, you'll understand that glass is actually a really amazing material to work on with a laser and you'll hopefully want to use it more often. So let's get going with the design. Okay, so what I did to, for an image is I found this nice dragon on Google Images and it was free to download. So I, so I thought oh, I'll, I'll use this. And this is monochrome. So everywhere where it's black, we'll do an engrave. And we could create a, a vector from this and fill it uh, in laser software, or we can just leave it like this, which is a PNG file and lay that on, on and engrave it as an image. I'm going to actually create a vector for this. So what I'll do is I'll select the dragon here and, uh, just apply. So there's my vector and I can delete this original now. Now on the software you'll see when I load this, it won't actually look like this. It'll look like a bunch of wireframe, but we'll we'll uh, sort that out when we when we get to the laser software. So I'll center it on the page. Now, just for reference, what I want to do is create a rectangle that is uh, 300 by 300 millimeters, just so I know where my page, where my mirror is relative to the image. And again, I'll center that on the page as well. So there's our, there's our, our image. And uh, we'll just drop this into some laser software and we'll uh, fire up the laser and get this engraved. So I fired up Lightburn here. I'm gonna use my SP3624 laser. Uh, and the reason is because this won't actually fit on the uh, workspace for my Muse 3D. It's only 11 and a half inches uh, tall. So, uh, we'll use that laser. The actual laser here, as long as it's a CO2 laser, really doesn't matter because you really don't need a lot of power to do this engraving. So what I did was load the image in and for the dragon, I selected a speed. Uh, and again, these will be unique to my laser. You'll have to play around potentially, uh, 400 millimeters per second at about 17 and a half. Uh, we can even go to maybe 20, uh, max power. Uh, min power here doesn't actually really matter, but we'll we'll set it the same just to be consistent. And there's our layout. And uh, really, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop my mirror onto the workspace and get this centered. I'll just do use the frame option in in Lightburn to get this centered on the mirror, and then I'll actually turn off the the green layer here because we don't need to print the outline, and uh, that'll be it. So when your engraving is finished, you have to kind of clean it off because there'll be little shards of glass around the edges of the engraving. So I take one of these little wire brushes and just lightly brush it across everything. You don't want to go too hard because you'll actually scratch the surface of the glass. 
but just a light brushing will work fine. You could also use something like emery paper, but I just find this works quite well. It's, it's good enough to just kind of pick the loose glass out and you can't actually see it in the photo here, but you can see it on the glass when you're doing the engraving and then just wipe that off. Uh, use a cloth that you, you want to throw away at the end, either paper towel or something, because this glass is really small. And if you put it into something and then use that towel somewhere else, you'll probably scratch whatever you whatever you do next. So uh, anyway, that's that's all I do to clean it up and it comes out really nicely. So there you go. There's a very simple mirror project. Uh, engrave something really cool on a, on a piece of glass and it costs almost nothing and it took very little time actually. So. Uh, you know, you should really take a look at this this kind of a project. Now, there are a couple of caveats here. One is you have to deal with uh, a bit of cleanup on the engraving once it's done. You have to get rid of any loose flaking glass so that people don't get cut by it. It's less of an issue on a piece of mirror because, you know, honestly, fingers won't be rubbing on it. But uh, it's more important if you're ever engraving something like a wine glass or anything on a, on a rotary that people will hold in their hand. So. Keep that in mind. Uh, you also saw that I didn't actually use any, any dish soap for my engraving. Uh, you can, some people do it and they say they get better results. I've tried both and I see almost no difference. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary there, uh, you know, give it a try. Uh, anyway, as always, I'll put a video up on the side here. Uh, go watch that and uh, I'll see you over there. Uh, otherwise, get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.